Good day everyone and welcome back. Uh, this session we will be discussing, actually this will be our part 2 for our potential relay coordination study using ATAP software. Okay, so I have here a ready-made uh, single line diagram. The difference between for our part 2 against our part 1, our part 1 is discussed is focused only on medium voltage system whereas in our part 2 uh, of our uh, discussion we have now a low voltage system from here so uh, it's a mix up of medium voltage uh, system and a low voltage system okay so uh, first I will discuss what I have been uh, the data that have been provided to each of every com electrical components we have okay let's start on our utility from our utility we assign here for three phase and single phase 100 mba for sure circuit okay we have here uh, a two winding transformer okay the rating of our two winding transformer is 0.63 MBA okay and uh, <clears throat> let's see the class is on and okay so our our primary voltage is 13.2 while our secondary voltage is 0 0.4 or 400 volts okay our primary current is the full load current is 27.56 amperes so we'll be using this information to calculate on our tile dial multiplier okay later on our ANSI 51 uh, time delay over current relay okay so let's close on this here on the secondary side of our transformer we have cable which is connected to cable uh, uh, the size of the cable is 3 core into 240 and we have here uh, an LB switch gear which having uh, two loads we have the first load is we assign here as DP number one or distribution panel number one the second load is distribution panel number two okay so right now we need uh, I'm going to show to you for the values that or the settings that we have on our uh, three low voltage switch circuit breaker CB5 this, uh, the CB6 and the CB9 then later also the information we have on our relay for our medium voltage system okay so let's start on our uh, this CB for the distribution panel number one okay let's go to trip device okay so in our setting from here uh, actually we selected it from ATAP library and the model we have here the solid state trip okay this one okay and the manufacturer is ABB okay and the sensor ID is 400 ampere okay so this is ST model SASI PR112 they have three sensor ID here arranges from 250 we have here 400 we have here 800 in our case we selected 400 okay so for our long time uh, setting pick up we assign here one so the corresponding value is 400 amperes for a short time we assign here two okay so corresponding value is 800 amperes LT band is 12 and uh, is T band is 0 0.3 okay for our instantaneous we assign here 8 and the corresponding value is 3200 amperes okay so for these three breakers we use the same uh, model number let's open this okay we use the same model number from ABB which is SASI PR112 so uh, I propose this for easy coordination between 
uh, the breakers, the downstream and upstream breakers. Okay. So from this panel, DP number number two. Okay. The sensor ID that we selected here is 250 ampere. Okay. So our uh, LT pickup, we assign here one. The corresponding current is 250 amperes. Short time is 1.5. Okay. Um, okay. We can change this one as two. Okay. So the uh, corresponding current is 500 amperes. And the instantaneous our instantaneous pickup here is 8 so the corresponding uh, amperage is 2000 so okay so the LT band is 12 and the same time our short time band is 0 0.3 okay so on our upstream breaker the CB number 5 okay this is the main incomer breaker for our LB switch gear let's open this one okay the same we use the ABB and the ST model is SASI PR112. Okay, so sensor ID, we choose 800 from here. Okay, so LT time pickup is 1. The LT band is 12. Short sure time pickup is one uh, 2 uh, with the corresponding 1,600 amperes. The ST band is 0.3. Instantaneous is also 8. And with corresponding... Uh, current of 6400 amperes okay so these are the settings for our uh, low voltage circuit breaker so let's close on this so from our uh, medium voltage side on the primary side of the transformer okay let's open on this our overcurrent relay okay we have choose uh, from GE the model is multi-lin T60. Okay, so our uh, we have chosen the curve. Our curve type curve type here is I triple E very inverse. Okay, so here uh, output ensure that uh, we have this is for the for the phase element, right? Okay, and really is coordinating with circuit breaker number one so okay and the input ensure that also on our face this one is being connected to CT1 okay with primary current of 50 ampere and the secondary current of 1 ampere okay so right now first we're gonna perform a uh, a load flow analysis the later your circuit analysis before we're going to start on our start and protection uh, coordination module okay for load flow this is to ensure that uh, we don't have any problem on our uh, bus voltage okay so let's run for the load flow it seems that is okay and let's go to our short circuit module and let's run for our short circuit okay on the primary side of the transformer we have here uh, 4.366 kilo amperes so we will be using this one okay for our I have here a ready-made uh, calculation to determine the time dial multiplier okay we will be using that this this fault uh, rating here to determine also our uh, one of the parameter that will be used for the uh, calculation of time time dial multiplier okay so now let's proceed on our star protection and coordination okay so right now let's go first to our study case sequence operation fault symmetrical fault type three phase okay device to flash three okay because uh one this breaker cb9 cb5 and cb1 the next stage will be cb6 cb5 and cb1 
so let's click OK on this and first we're going to have a fault first on DP1 and check whether our settings on our circuit breaker and our relay from here is being set properly okay so fault on DP bus 1 DP1 bus Okay. CB9, CB5, and CB1. It seems that our uh, settings for our uh, low voltage circuit breaker and going to upstream uh, relay is being set properly. So we have a proper coordination at this from uh, DP1 going upstream. Okay, so let's check also our, let's have a fault on our deep, uh, DP2 bus. CB6, CB5, and CB1. So the coordination is okay. How about also if we have the uh, fault on our LB switch gear? CB5, CB1, and next, how about if you have fault on our uh, secondary side of our transformer? Okay, seems okay. The primary side of our transformer. Okay, so it seems we don't have problem on our uh, circuit breaker setting on our, and also our relay settings. Now we're going to check our uh, <clears throat> TCC curve. Okay, let's select on this. So we have here, uh, we have here, this is the curve of our. Uh, relay on the medium voltage side okay and this is also the circuit breaker core okay we have this this is the cb6 this is taking right from here if you click the cb6 curve here this is also become becomes red okay this one for the cb9 okay and this breaker upstream for cb5 so this if you check it from the core that we have here uh we have here cable 16 cable 3 and cable 2 so we have the cable 16 cable 3 and cable 2 so it means uh there is a proper coordination and our circuit breakers are protecting our cable so these are the thermal damage curve of our three uh, low voltage cable okay and this is also the thermal damage curve of our medium voltage cable okay so this curve here this is the thermal damage curve also for our transformer this is for the primary and this is for the secondary side of our transformer okay so let's have a level on this okay settings okay this one okay so and this bottom from here uh this is the inrush current our inrush current is 25 times the full load amperes of the primary side of the transformer okay times uh, uh the duration is three cycles so how we come up this relay settings from here okay so let's go back on the relay setting how we calculated okay so open this calculation our our pickup current setting is 125 percent of the transformer primary rated current so a transform primary rated current is to seven 
0.56 times 1.25 times the release setting uh, the release <coughs> uh, parameter which is the 50 is to 1 okay so we have here our pickup current setting to be 0.69 so here we provided here 0.69 and the pickup current here is equal to 34.5 that's why we here we have here 34.5 okay so to our time dial setting we have here so we adapted the 51 core uh, for our 51 core which is I triple E very inverse curve so this is the equation so this is uh, the values from IE standard these are the constants for A B and P so substituting all these uh, parameters okay and the operating time we uh, set at the really has to trip at 0.5 second okay so we have utilized this one okay and our transformer primary side fault is 4366 ampere okay so what we have calculated the time dial multiplier is 0 0.37 at operating time of 0 0.50 second so we can check it from here that uh, this this is the reflection of our relay setting so here we have here really one over current model is GE multi-lane T60 uh, CT ratios 50 is to 1 I triple A very inverse the pickup is 0 0.69 and the time dial is 0 0.37 so these are the information of our relay number one on the primary side of the transformer okay so uh, I think uh, we this will be the end of our discussion and uh, I'm planning to pre for my next video I'm planning to prepare uh, regarding the arc flash analysis so thank you for watching